Hey, how you doing? It's Saturday afternoon in Frankfurt, and I'm coming by to give you some practice listening to English. I want to tell you what we did last night because it was so nice. I went with my daughter and two friends to see Beauty and the Beast. And I think we all, no matter the country, I think we all know the story, the age-old story of Beauty and the Beast. But it was told in a different way. It was told beautifully. It was very artistically pleasing. It was so pretty. And the theater was sold out. This doesn't happen often anymore, but both when we saw La La Land and when we saw Beauty and the Beast, sold out. Standing room only. Loved it. It was so cool. And the the movie is funny and cute and romantic and dang it was really good it's a little bit tough for little kids to watch though because the the bad parts in it are a little more violent than we're used to seeing but it was cute i really i i liked the movie overall i was very pleased with it i thought it was good okay and the other thing i'm coming by for we're going to practice another difficult to pronounce word from English Club. And this word is whistle. Whistle. Um, in Portuguese, I've been told by a reliable source that it would be apito or it would, could be um, asobio. Asobio. Apito, asobio. In English, it's both a noun and a verb. You can whistle at someone, you can whistle a tune. Or you can use a whistle, a, a device, to make a sound. So it can be a noun or a verb. Um, to make up a couple sentences, which is what I suggest you do, I could say, did you see that guy whistle at that girl? Did you see that guy whistle at that girl? Or I could say, I'll use my dog whistle to get my dog to come home. I'll use my dog whistle. I could demonstrate for you a whistle, but I think it could be painful because I'm a mom of four kids. I've learned how to whistle pretty loudly, but very quietly would be <whistles> whistle, okay? So, really strange. The WH is, is a very soft sound. It's an airy sound like we're used to having with the WH, I S T. You don't hear the T. It's one of those things that you go, why do you English people put all these letters in there that you're not going to use? It's easier when we say all the letters. It would make more sense to you, but we don't. So we don't hear the T. We also don't hear the E at the end of the word. It's not whistly, whistly, no. Whistle, whistle, okay? I hope you're going to have a great day. Make it a good one, and let me know if there's any way I can help you, okay? Beijão.